Ted Politics, man. Back again. So check this out. I'm getting y'all some. I was thinking one day, bro. Like, cause you know I'm a thinker and shit like that. So I was like, man, yeah. cause I work. Cause I work for Blue Collar Cash, but Blue Collar Cash partnered with the Shoe Guys. So I really work for the Shoe Guys and Blue Collar Cash. So I really work for myself and others. You feel me? But that's a whole nother situation. But check this out, right? So I was wondering how much it is to franchise a company, right? Because I'm a franchise to Shoe Guys. Hope y'all ready for it. It's going to be in Colorado. It's going to be Shoe Guys, Colorado. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be selling shoes and tree at the same damn time. Shoes and good weed at the same damn time. It's coming to Colorado 2023. 2023 we coming. 2023 we coming. Anyways. So, boom. I looked it up, right? Franchising a company. That shit can run you anywhere from 10000 to $5 million. Don't get too scared. That's not a lot of money, bro. I ain't never had it before, but I know people that have had it before. It's not a lot of money, bro. It's like... It's a lot, but it's, it's not a lot, a lot, like a lot. It's not too much to handle. Let me just put it like that. But anyways, you can either have 10, 10K or 5 million, right? And that's going to depend on what type of company it is, what's the location, all that kind of shit. Um, yeah, location, uh, type of business it is. Uh, yeah, them, them the two major factors, right? But on average, though, on average, it's 100K to 300K to start a franchise. So, if, like, so for instance, right, let's say you want to open up a, I'm going to say Wingstop. My girl want a Wingstop. All right, boom. My girl want a Wingstop, right? I know a location. It's not too far from a fucking a plant, actually. It's actually not too far from SRS, right? So let's say I throw this wing stop in this location, not too far from this SRS. Hmm. They probably go, I ain't gonna lie. They probably go try to get a quick million off of me because of the location. And I know the location alone go probably make that million back the first month. No cap. I already know what it is. So that's the kind of shit you gotta think about. Like, is this location gonna make this money anyways? Because if it's gonna make the money anyways, you might as well just go ahead and get these folks what they want. Especially if you know you're in a good space where it's going to make what you think it's going to make type shit, right? So, things to consider when franchising the company. First, learn about, about the company, first and foremost. You don't want to get into this thing and you trying to franchise uh, chicken wings, but you don't know shit about chicken wings. You know what I'm saying? You learn something about that shit, for real, for real. Uh, same thing, Waffle House, Burger King, McDonald's. Anything you're trying to franchise, make sure you actually give a fuck about it. Don't just franchise it just for the hell of it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not, it's, not, it's not nothing to play with. It's like a baby. You know what I'm saying? You got to take care of that. You feel me? Don't just be franchising shit because it sounds good. If you go franchise something, franchise something because you love it, for real. For me... Wingstop, that's not me. That's my girl. My girl love Wingstop. So she gonna be the one who have Wingstop. I'm just gonna get the shit going for her. She gonna run that motherfucker. But for me though, I'm gonna have a tropical smoothie. I'm gonna have a fucking shoe guys. I'm gonna have a Pizza Hut. I'm gonna have a Burger King. I'm gonna have a McDonald's. I'm gonna have a Dollar General. I'm gonna have a Walmart. I'm gonna have a Waffle House. That's it, I think. I'm pretty much gonna have one of everything I ever worked at. I'm gonna have a Bojangles. Like, them the jobs I done had in my past. So I wanna I wanna have them again, but I don't wanna work at them. I just wanna have them. So that's where the whole conversation with franchise and businesses come in. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, from the research that I've done, I could probably take one million and then probably I probably could I could probably open up my pizza hut. My my tropical smoothie and probably my shoe store. Oh, that effect and one other one. What's that last one? Probably my Wi Fi. I probably could open them four alone with a million because I could put I could put a quarter million on each one of them. You know what I'm saying? 
it's just little shit like that to think about. And then it's like, if I'm gonna have them all in the same area, spread it out. See, one thing about it though, my shoe guy is gonna be in Colorado. You feel me? And I'm probably gonna got them make a snack or something that go with it. So when they go in my when they go in my shoe when they go in my shoe store, they gonna be able to get it. shoes on this side, trees on this side, and snacks. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, franchising the company is not that hard like y'all think it is. For real, for real, it could be anywhere from 10k to 5 million. On average, 100k to 300k. Make sure you got a great location. Make sure you got uh, a great a great ideal of what you want your company to be about and doing. Even though it's a franchise, franchises could have their own little, you know what I mean, their own little sauce to it. You feel me? Like, every McDonald's ain't the same. Every Burger King ain't the same. Every Walmart ain't the same. Every Dollar General ain't the same. They're the same in ways, but in ways they different. You know what I mean? So, y'all think about that. If y'all ever thought about franchising a business, them my little takes on it. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell y'all what to do, but it only it's only 100K to 300K, bro. That's all you need. And I'll give y'all a little game, too. Let's say you made $35 every 30 minutes, right? So, if you made $35, if you made $35, No, not every 30 minutes. Let's say you made $65 every 30 minutes. $65 every 30 minutes, right? So let me see, let me see. Let me get my calculator out. It's really gonna be 65. That's $130 every hour, right? Well, let's times that by eight. If you making thirty, if you making, if you making uh, what I said, one hundred and thirty dollars every hour for eight hours, that's a thousand forty dollars. That's a thousand a day. So it's as simple as making about thirty to thirty five dollars every thirty. I mean, yeah, no, sixty to sixty five dollars every thirty minutes, and one hundred and twenty five every hour, and you got you a thousand day. A thousand dollars a day if you do if you work in eight hours if you work eight hours and make 125 dollars every hour for eight hours that's a thousand so that's just a little game to try to help y'all get to this 10k and then work y'all way up to the 100k and then work y'all way up to the 300k to the five mil if that's what y'all want or just stop in between and get that money it's not hard people it's Ted Politics. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment. Oh, yeah. And share the video, man. Share it with everybody you know. Because, you know, y'all don't be sharing no shit. But anyways, we out.